Assad's murderous attack shook every one of us to our core. It once again showed the world that Assad is not a partner for peace. It showed what happens when Assad's allies, Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah, decide to lend their support to a barbaric regime instead of joining the world to stop it. When Assad's planes dropped chemical weapons, his regime violated a resolution from this very council and the Chemical Weapons Convention. Assad mocked every assurance the Russians gave us that there were no chemical weapons in Syria. The United States was compelled to act. We will not allow the use of chemical weapons to go unanswered. We are not going to look the other way. We are watching the regime's actions carefully. To my colleagues from Russia, you are isolating yourselves from the international community every time one of Assad's planes drop another barrel bomb on civilians, and every time Assad tries to starve another community to death. People not just in the West, but across the Middle East and the world are speaking out against Assad's brutality. It is long past time for Russia to stop covering for Assad. 